hello everyone welcome back to a new video today is really a leftover pour and i was just playing around a little bit and you see that i'm layering my colors um, all the colors i'm using are resin inks they are either from octopus or from etta art um, yeah i just used the colors i had for my previous pours. So you see I'm using blue, I'm using green, and um, one color was, I think, the olive. And then I'm just pouring some resin, clear resin, into my mold till it's rather filled up. And then I'm taking my white. You will see it in a second. And I'm using my popsicle stick and I'm placing the dots. So because I didn't have my resin in a piping bag with this one, I used the um, popsicle stick because I didn't have a piping bag to hand. And I was just curious, you know, what result I would be getting. My resin was not yet really um, so thick that it would um, really give the starburst effect. So I was just curious how it's looking when the little blobs fall down. When the little blobs blobs blob. <laughs> Something like this. But you can already see it's moving. And because it's a deep mold, it's a rough and tough mold from Molds and Shapes, it's the oval one. I was really curious. And also if I get shadings and yeah. You see, it's a lot of work placing all the dots. I think in this white, I, this is rather opaque also. Um, I also mixed a little bit of the baby's breast from Laura's Art Corner. With this pour, it was like this. And the white I'm using is the Resin Tint Max from um, Elchium, and I have it from Stefanie Etta. So it's really a great job um, placing all the dots, but it's amazing. Because while I'm dotting, I call it dotting, you can really see what the resin is doing, what the dots are doing. I just love it. It's so much fun when you are in between and pouring and you see already that the resin is moving. But you also see that where I place the dots, that the dots are falling down to the bottom. I don't know if you, you can see it. I could see it while I was pouring. I did similar um, with the scallop mold when um, I think maybe three pours ago or three videos ago. Maybe you want to check it out. And then I had the idea, why not doing a whole coaster like this? And I had these leftovers because I'm always mixing up a little bit more resin than I need. So I can test things also. And that's one of the tests. So my dots are placed and now you have the time lapse and you see what it's doing. It's amazing. I think it, it looks out of the world, like space. I really like it. And this is now the second one. It's left over from another pour and I'm layering the colors, different colors than in the previous one into my cup because I did the fairy flower and um, I used the colors which are the leftovers and I'm just pouring them into my mold. Of course there's the space. I filled it up with some clear resin up to the rim. Sorry that you cannot see it that I have the cup in between. <laughs> This happens. And I already like the shadings of colors there. Just make sure that I get rid of some of the bubbles. 
taking my um, torch just be always careful using the torch and then I'm taking the piping bag with this I have the piping bag because I used the piping bag for my pour I did before and I'm just piping the dots and here I only have the white I didn't mix anything in there additionally it's a resin tint max like I had in my previous video, um, previous um, dotting, dotting leftover poor, <laughs> how shall I call it? I don't know. And I'm doing exactly the same, but with a piping bag and with a piping bag, you are much faster. And I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. So these are just tests for, for me because as I mentioned before, I like this with the scallop so much with the little, it looked like pearl or some people um, on my channel said um, a mosaic. So, yeah, I just thought, try it again. And this is now my dotting done. And here, I don't know why I did it. I used the rest of my resin and just poured along the edges the mode was also not full full that's me playing around testing seeing what can i achieve but i think this has not much effect except from for the time lapse because you can see that the resin is moving and you can also see that the dots that the little strings are moving to the center but anyway this is the next day and time for the molding and I'm very, very curious. And look at this. It looks already funny from this side. And that's the other side. And look at that. And you can see the little strings in the center. And I think it's looking very cute. I really like it. It's really like mosaic. And I think you can play around with this technique. So you can make different designs and yeah, I'm happy that I discovered it for myself, but of course, I don't know. People have done this, I'm sure, before as well. So, And now the second one, and here yeah, I'm curious, but you can see how much the white moved, um, which I put on top. And let's have a look. Here I'm also curious for the colors, and look at that. I really think they are very cute and I really like them both. And here's now the final result and you can have a look also about the depths, especially in the center. Really love them. So with this, I love and leave you and we see each other hopefully for the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye bye.